Got a 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner convertible with a 383 four speed manual trans. The car is in need of full restoration. Uh, it's been painted a new color and the interior has also been changed. Um, originally, the car was Alpine white exterior with a red. Roadrunner stripe along the side and the interior was Jamaica blue um, Really a Stellar looking spec. I think it'd be really really interesting to see someone restore it back to that color scheme it'd be very Unique I can't imagine seeing very many other ones like that view of some of the rougher areas here. Trunk is solid. All of these um, areas I'm showing you are chronicled very well in the photo section of my bring a trailer listing. So if anyone wants to see more in depth, um, this is more or less just a quick overview. A little bit of body damage here. Had a white vinyl top, or not vinyl top, white convertible top. Um, that was pretty tattered up, so we've removed it um, entirely. Same deal here on this side, on the rocker. A little bit of rust areas interior like I said it should be Jamaica blue which is a really cool color um, <laughs> horn works you can see actually some of the Jamaica blue right there um, from where the interior was dyed um, interesting, very cool, bright blue color. Card come from Texas. Show you under the hood. Here's the 383. This is a numbers matching motor, numbers matching trans as well. some things that need to be addressed before it being roadworthy but uh, it's good to know that the motor is operational no no issues there as far as knocks or anything like that um,
original fender tag. Like I said, this decodes to show Alpine white exterior paint, a red stripe along the side, and then that really cool bright Jamaica blue interior and a white convertible top. Pretty, pretty killer looking car, I think. It would be fun to, like I said, originally, that's what it was supposed to be. I think it'd be great to see it back at that for whoever restores this. Um, there are photos everywhere of the hidden body bins on the core support and then I have photos as well of the VIN on the trunk area, the drip rail there. All right, here's the underneath of the car. I'll do my best to walk around with a, a light here. Um, you can see, we did some stuff here to make it run um, and make sure that everything checked out. Uh, fuel pump, oil, stuff like that. But for largely the rest of it, it's untouched and as found. Uh, you can see it's got some of its dusties in here and stuff from the field. Um, again, all these in-depth, I did a lot of photos of the car, so anything else you want to spend some time staring at, uh, please visit the listing and you can check it all out. Um, part numbers and date codes all here. Uh, let's see about the engine here. I'm not sure how well that's showing up, uh, but there is a photo of that in the listing again. Um, But that is a numbers matching engine block. Here is the numbers matching trans. There's some more part numbers on it for you. So here's some of that rocker, lower rocker area that was a little bit rough. Um, you know, here's some other residual from that. 